Eh, I get ahead of myself sometimes, but... Go take a look at this. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and I've done things completely out of order, because this is going to be a mod guide, or at least what I'm modding on my Adventure Force Nexus Pro, and I kind of started without filming anything. So, let's just jump into the build and, you know, see where I started, or left off, something like that. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so as you've already figured out, I am doing this completely ass backwards to the way I normally do. Uh, I am going to be modding the my Nexus Pro, and I've already kind of scripted down. Uh, this wasn't honestly to save time. This was just, I was kind of out in the shop and kind of moving some stuff around, tinkering, and I just saw it, and I'm like, you know what? I want to get it prepped. And I did all that, and then I realized, wait, I never actually started recording anything, so... Anyway, we're going to be modifying the Nexus Pro. I have a general idea of how I want to do the paint and also want to definitely get started on that. Now, what I need to do first is because there's a lot of um, lubricant that is on some of the parts and I'm sure got all over the shell while I was trying to clean it. Uh, I need to wipe everything down. I'm just going to use 70% isopropyl alcohol. So that will help with everything. Now what i'm going to do is i've already gotten uh something some stuff already kind of prepped so i have this wonderful uh aluminum muzzle from i got this from foam uh foam blast yeah because i also got a another kit with this that probably is not going to go into the nexus pro maybe one day i'll start swapping in parts here and there but the best thing I got is, because I got the Prophecy Kit, I got one of the N28 springs that I was hoping would have worked with this, but is just way too long. So I kind of cut it down so that it is the actual length of the Nexus Pro spring itself. Now, the fun thing is the Nexus Pro spring actually nests when cut down into the 28 end spring for the prophecy pretty perfectly uh however this does make a huge huge beefy prime um and you will be hitting close to anywhere from like 180 to 200 with this so that's not bad but i don't know if i'm going to be using that spring in there or not so i may just be using the stock spring to keep this kind of somewhat stock now the pink colors that I'm going to be using this are basically what I guess you could say are my standards. The charcoal gray vinyl dye, the metallic purple lacquer, and the red vinyl dye for accents. Now, I know this is a orange metal tip and there's really not going to be much orange on this basically left at all. So, for safety reasons, the orange... Um, muzzle that or uh, flash hider muzzle whatever you, muzzle brake whatever you want to call it the orange piece that came with the actual nexus pro i am not going to be painting so there's that oh and if you're wondering what i used for this is basically just the inner barrel from a retaliator uh barrel extension for it just cut down so now <clears throat> i'm not going to show how this is going to get broken up you'll see that in a moment but for standard operating procedures these pieces the safety switch which by the way i somewhat fixed i'm still going to flip it over so that it is fire on this side instead of safe but since that wasn't really kind of working anyway i just fixed it so i just got rid of the notch so now this is completely useless but it's staying in the magazine the main magazine release is going to go red along with the trigger itself now chances are what i'm going to do is to mitigate any you know issues with paint rubbing and this and that um i'm just going to clean off the trigger and then tape off the actual bar 
So the only thing that's really going to go red is obviously the trigger, which is what I want. And I'm just going to like leave the rest of the internals as is, which basically means under here, you'll probably still be able to see all of this orange because again, I don't want to paint it and cause any issues with it. So also you will notice that I do not have any of the handles or the stock or anything like that. These I'm going to keep as is. Um, one, because they're going to be getting a lot of use, a lot of handling. And also, I think it will actually go well with the paint scheme itself. So, you know, there's that. So let me start getting cleaned up on these and I will show you how those come out in a second. Okay, I just kind of forgot and just remembered now. There are these uh, darker orange pieces and these white pieces do actually come off of the shell. There's a little bit of a trick to get them, but it's actually pretty easy. It's a little permanent, but it doesn't actually destroy anything. So in regards to, and I should have probably grabbed the right side of it. In regards to these pieces, uh, they basically slot in right here and are held on by three clips. Now, once these are on there's actually like little ridges right there that actually hold the clips into place you can just take a utility knife very carefully just snap those right like very easily and cleanly clip those right off be very careful with it and you'll be able to unsnap this very easily just by running a very thin flathead right underneath it same thing in regards to these you'll notice that there are these little white tabs on top there those are what hold that into place here um here you can kind of see like where they would like fit right back in you can just bend those up and pop it right out because those clips along with the clips that run up here are very snug those are just in there to basically hold them in permanently. You can just very easily clip the ones in the front here and just bend. Because I didn't even break these. I just bent them up and I was able to pop those out. So there's that. All right. See you in a minute. Okay. So I got a lot of progress done with the painting so far. I uh, got all of the red done. And I have to say it looks really nice and with against the orange it does look nice and bright so that's always a plus uh a little fly in that thing uh all the other pieces took really 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 well and i haven't done it yet but now that this is painted uh just so it doesn't get lost trigger spring is going to get super glued onto here just like with the darts on pro uh the white plates went full gray because i know at least on this section or at least where these are going to be i know it's going to actually be the metallic purple so i wanted to definitely make sure that these were painted separately so i didn't have to worry about masking them off so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start taping off what i want to keep gray on here now there's a few places i kind of want to keep like just gray patches like i'm thinking the recesses here would look nice if they stayed gray um, this little section right over the uh, clip or uh, not the clip but the um, the magwell not sure if I'm doing these spots or not uh, this little front plate here and I haven't decided if I want to do on the barrel or not but I was thinking about actually masking off just this triangle row and this section since it's a kind of raised off of everything else and then everything else is just going to go purple so yeah i'm going to uh, put the tape down for that and trim it off and once those are done you'll be able to see the final results on it because i don't think you want to see me just sitting here painting and taping and trimming taping and trimming because it's it's laborious it's I'll admit it's not fun, but the end results are always amazing when you take your time and do it well. So, see you in a minute. 
Okay, so like 20 minutes later, uh, the taping for this side is done. So obviously whatever is blue is what's going to remain the gray and then the rest is going to get the purple lacquer. And honestly, I think it's going to look really nice uh, with just these pops here and also the gray here. It will be enough to break up the uh, purple along with the red accents all over. And even with the darker hardware like the front grip, the actual like the actual grip stock and iron sights it's still gonna look really good and like i said looking at it you're like oh that could be bad that is why i am keeping this regardless so this way even on this there's going to be a huge bright orange tip so let me go get this other side done and then you'll see the paint when it's all done and ready to take the tape off and see how well it came out. Okay, so purple is now all done. So painting is basically completed and now it's just going to be on to reassembly. I've only taken the tape off of this side and oh my god, this came out so good. Ah, uh, this is so good. I will admit I did forget to put the tape over here, but you know what? It's fine, whatever. Uh, I still have the tape I have to take off on this one, but oh, oh, it came out good. I'm so happy. So let me take the tape off of this. And then once I get all the parts organized, we'll do a uh, reinstallation. Also, I said screw it. And I did actually wind up painting that. So anyway, let's go get this put back together. Okay, so we're ready to reinstall. Now, just putting the what was the once white panel there and the red tack rail on oh my god this looks amazing i am so happy with the way this is looking right now so i already put in like a few of the minor things now there is the lock over here i am not going to actually bother putting that one back in just because it's a lock so uh, but everything else is going to be pretty simple to put back, especially this piece, because uh, the breach and everything is just one one thing. So let's get this all put back together and get it buttoned up. <laughs> So all I got to do is screw this together and then we'll see what we'll see how it is. And, uh, you know, what? actually what we'll do is maybe we'll do a FPS test on the different springs. Or possibly I may just show the results of that because that might be a bit much to set up. So you're either going to see some FPS footage after this or you'll see the results in the final product. So. Comment down below what you think is going to happen. Okay, and here it is. Okay, so we're going to be testing the FPS on the uh, spring upgraded version of the Nexus Pro. I have the cut down 28N Prophecy spring in here. Now, I took out that uh, spring guide that would normally be in here just because it's too much pre-compression between the spring length and that thing on here because it is wider than the actual nexus pro spring so i took it out we'll see what it's actually hitting if there is any uh boost in it or whatnot i have adventure force pro darts in here i'm going to take five shots we'll see what we can get and then i'll throw in the nexus pro spring and see what we're going from there and how hard it is to actually prime that one so here we go five shots That didn't work. Register. All right. 
and that's five and it's hitting about an average of 133 so it's actually on par with the nexus pro spring so let's see what the two of them together will get you okay so i have the prophecy spring along with the nexus pro spring in here and we'll see what it's hitting now and i mean i can tell right now this is going to be a huge pain in the butt to constantly prime so five shots let's see how it goes Okay, I don't know why it was all of a sudden zipping at the end, but I'll be perfectly honest. I don't think I'm leaving this thing double spring. That killed my arm, surprisingly enough. But, I mean, I got this thing to hit over two, <laughs> almost uh, 230, so that's cool. But uh, let's go to my final thoughts now. Okay, we interrupt this already recorded video because... You know, I've never really done that before, and I wanted to see what it'd be like. But in all seriousness, I got something new for the Nexus Pro that I did want to kind of add into the video since it's still being edited and all. But I ordered from Out of Darts uh, one of the end caps that Luke had made, and I got the 175 FPS cap. And I've put it into the Nexus Pro, and by God, with the stock spring... Wouldn't you know, it actually works, and works well. Uh, I was hitting about an average of 175 to 180 with it. So, yeah, this does work. Uh, there were outliers, some a little hotter, some a little lower, which Luke explains in his video. And I ordered two of these, uh, two reasons. One, there were five bucks each, so you can't go wrong with that. Two, I've never really ordered anything from Out of Darts, no, we're not rolling for initiative right now. No, I'm not stopping. Um, I've never really ordered anything from Adept Arts, so I didn't really know like how good the print quality was going to be. So, And that's not a I don't trust them or anything. It's just I've just never really experienced it before. So, And I figured, again, it's five bucks, so what if I order two? If one breaks, I have a spare. So there you go. But yeah, the print quality on this thing no joke is like really solid and very it's just solid like i really don't foresee this breaking under any of the spring compression or anything like that uh the only issue i really had in with this was actually getting the cap on was a little tough and it's not just because of the pre-compression with the spring itself but the locking piece here it just wasn't twisting all the way uh, it eventually did wind up going. It just needed a little bit of finagling and it locked in fine. So this is the spare. I have one already in the Nexus Pro. So, But yeah, if you don't want to do a spring swap, that is honestly a very good alternative and also a very cheap alternative. So yeah, if you don't want to worry about a spring or can't find a spring, just go pick up one of those. And I'm already getting Dart Zone Pro performance out of my Nexus Pro. So yeah all right back to our actually recorded video now okay so here is the completed nexus pro and i have to say very happy with how everything turned out the electric purple lacquer of course looks amazing the gray vinyl dye really pops against the purple and especially i have to say with the way i did the cutouts on it it just came out really, really nice. The red pops beautifully, and it looks like it's stock, like it's off of the Dart Zone Pro, which I have to say I really, really love. And I'm really happy with, and I figured it would, but I'm just really happy with how the stock hardware pairs up with the charcoal gray vinyl dye, like, so well. Like... It's a little hard to see on camera, but you could tell that there is a small color difference. But if you're looking at this from a distance in person, 
it looks like everything on here is stock. Uh, and also, I really do like the uh, metal muzzle brake on here. It looks really nice. And again, make sure I cover all my bases. I kept the orange tip, so there's that. So, aesthetically, I love how this came out. This looks really good. Now, as far as the internals go, um, the Prophecy Spring worked pretty well. Uh, it gave a small boost to what the average FPS was. Is uh, After I finished filming that, I decided to just throw five through uh, with just the stock spring and the, uh, the ring guide in there. And I was hitting an average of 127. And that, with the Prophecy Spring, it was, I think, hitting about 133. So, I mean, you got about an extra 6 FPS out of it. But to cut down the spring, not to mention getting a spring and then cutting it down to fit for just 6 FPS, I don't know if that would be kind of worth it or not, unless you're just looking for that little extra boost. Uh, I... Reason being, I never used the Turf Cedar Spring because that's supposedly the one that fits this thing best. I just never got one. Uh, I was looking for them and everywhere I kind of checked, they were all sold out because everyone's buying them. So I'm going to keep looking around for it. If I happen to come across the Turf Cedar Spring, I'll throw it in there and I may just throw an update of what this is now hitting on like my Facebook page or Instagram. So if, if, if you don't follow me on there, be a good idea to see the small little update uh as far as the double spring goes yeah uh i would not run this thing double sprung for a few reasons one it killed my arm oh my god my arm is killing me right now trying to prime that the other thing is priming it i actually jammed this thing at least three times because I didn't get a full prime on it and it just jammed the darts in the barrel. So yeah, the double spring method, at least in my opinion, is not worth it because you will more likely than not jam in the field if you do that. So again, your mileage may vary, but that's what the issues I was running into. So there's that. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, and as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of how my Nexus Pro came out, and if you have one and modded yours, what have you done to it? I'd love to hear about it, because, you know, ideas are what make the community go round and all. So, and, ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when we're doing our silliness here on the channel. And also don't forget to follow us on social media because then we get little updates here and there. Uh, but again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.